Hi guys, my name is Bjergsen from Team Solo Mid. This is my basics champion guide to Brand. Brand is definitely a strong champion in solo queue because as of right now, people aren't really used to exactly how much damage he can do. And he can actually put out a surprising amount of burst uh, pretty much throughout the game. Uh, Brand's biggest weakness is his past 30 minutes. He's a lot weaker than most other mid laners, mostly because he's limited to range and mobility. His E has a ridiculously short range and it's hard to get it on anyone later in the game without you taking a lot more damage in return. But overall, Brand has a strong laning phase that he can snowball uh, into other lanes or just further uh, push his lane advantage. And in team fights early mid game, he does a ridiculous amount of damage. He's one of the strongest mages for sure. Brand's laning is actually very strong just because his W has long range and you can often outrange and out harass anyone. And his wave clear is ridiculously good. For Ban, the main things you want to do for laning phase is try to get to frost screens as soon as possible. But earlier, if you can push them out of lane or look for a kill, that's what you want to do. The easiest way to harass people is usually looking for a W that can hit both the opponent and their backline, and then following it up with an E on the minions that chains onto the champion. This gets them to about 60-70%, and it's just a consistent tool of harassment. And it also helps you set up your stun once all the ranged minions are dead. For Brand's team fight, uh, the way you usually want to play it is to just do as much damage uh, to the middle of the fight, kind of. You don't want to just be constantly hitting the tanks, uh, but you want to try to throw your stuns and everything on the nearest target, but trying to use your W and alt on the backline or the support chaining onto the carries, because if you get a Rylai slow on them later in the game, uh, they're going to be zoned off of the team fight uh, for a while just because they're slowed and can't move further into the fight. Um, the fights with Rand are really situational though, sometimes you just want to burn down the front line, sometimes the front line is too tanky, you need to look for a combo in the back line or kind of like an assassination, but you'll learn on the go and just by playing more Brand. If you're in close range and you're fast on your fingers, uh, you can actually use Q and then E to get the stun, because as Q is in air, uh, you can apply the E on them, essentially uh, putting your passive on them and getting the stun. Um, it's pretty useful if anyone is in close range of you, uh, generally about almost to max range of your Q because if they are too close they're going to get hit by the Q before your E. Uh, but if you learn the range of this it can give you a lot of surprise kills. For runes on brand I like to run magic pen reds, HP scaling yellows, CDR scaling blues, and AP quints. Again it's just the most standard mage page but it really is because it is the strongest one and brand does very well with CDR because he can cycle multiple stuns later in the game. For masteries on brand I like to do 18-12-0. Brand is one of the few champions where I feel like Deathfire Touch is actually the better option just because of the dots that he has. Gives him a lot of damage later in the game once he actually lands his abilities. Um, piercing Thoughts is also currently better than Precision because Percentage Magic Pen, when you're building flat Magic Pen like uh, Leandri's, scales better. Uh, but I still like to go 12 in Cunning because of Merciless, increased damage when people are below 40 HP, and just Dangerous Game. These are all really good masteries. For Brand at level 1, I either start W or E. E against close range or melee matchups, and W against most matchups. After that, you want to get E and Q and W at any order at level 3. After that, you want to be maxing W into Q into E. The reason for maxing Q second is because E has such a low range, and even though it does help you with wave clear, their reduced cooldown on the stun as well as the increased damage actually just does a lot more overall. Item build on Brand in the current meta is actually a bit weird because you want to go for the frost queen's claim after your doran's ring start uh the item does a lot of damage because you your passive procs it so every time it's fully stacked you get 45 extra damage and gold every time you land an ability uh, every 30 seconds and the slow is good for landing skill shots because brand has a lot of skill shots it gives cdr ap and mana region which all stats brand can use uh in later patches if it gets nerfed you want to just be building morellos or anthenes in its place after that, you want to go CDR boots because Frost Queens only gives 10% CDR, but you still want to get as close to 40% as possible. Um, after that, you want to go Rylice and Leandris. This has always been a good combo on Brand because he has trouble landing his skill shots, and with the Rylice, it gives a slow. And Leandris works well with his passive dot, uh, Frost Queens dot, and the Deathfire touch. After that, you can go a lot of different items. You can go Deathcap, Voice Staff, uh, Sonyas, or even a defensive item like Banshees. Anything you really need after those core items, depending on the game. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of my guides and more content at lolclass.com.